Due to the delay in aid from the US, Russian attack aircraft are approaching the front line. Forbes. Due to the blocking of US aid to Ukraine, Ukrainian air defense systems began to run out of missiles to repel Russian attacks. As a result, some Russian fighters can fly much closer to the front lines and attack with short-range missiles rather than 25-mile glider bombs. Forbes writes about this. The publication recalled how recently, during fierce fighting on the edge of Chasovoya, Four Su-25 attack aircraft of the Russian Air Force fired at Ukrainian positions at low altitude from a distance of only a few meters from them. It is noted that Russian air raids targeting Chasivya have dialed up the pressure on the city's garrison, which includes the 67th Mechanized Brigade and, closest to the edge of the city, the 23rd Infantry Battalion. Back-to-back, -back, Russian assaults on the 23rd Battalion's positions dearly cost the Russians, but at least a few Russian troops have entrenched along the outermost city street, Zelena Street. Urban combat operations may soon begin in Chasivya, the Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies noted. Forbes says that a shortage of artillery shells, a crisis Ukraine's European allies are scrambling to resolve, is the biggest problem vexing the Chasivya garrison. But a shortage of air defense ammunition is a close second. It doesn't help that Russia has escalated its air raids on Ukraine's biggest cities, compelling the Ukrainian Air Force to concentrate its best air defense batteries around these cities. That leaves gaps in frontline air defenses, gaps the Russian Air Force is exploiting. These gaps will get bigger as air defense ammo runs low. If they keep hitting Ukraine every day the way they have for the last month, we might run out of missiles. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned the U.S. Speaker of the House, Representative Mike Johnson, has pledged to hold a belated vote on fresh U.S. aid to Ukraine potentially this month. A successful vote could pay for the Pentagon to speed more air defenses to Chasiv Yar and other besieged frontline cities. Ten regions of Kazakhstan have declared states of emergency after strong floods hit the entire northwest of the country. The flooding was sparked by a sudden and early period of warm weather that caused huge amounts of snow to melt and overfill numerous rivers across parts of Kazakhstan and Russia. Massive floods in Kazakhstan that began in March became the largest natural disaster in the country over the past 80 years, country's president Kassanjamur Tokayev said. A natural disaster has occurred, the likes of which have not been seen for many years. This may be the largest disaster in terms of its scale and consequences over in the past 80 years, he said, according to Tokayev, due to the floods, a local emergency situation has been declared in 10 regions of the country. The president noted that following his criticism and instructions, the government boosted efforts to reduce the consequences of the flood and is taking appropriate measures. According to the latest data from the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Kazakhstan, since the beginning of the floods, more than 3,000 private residential buildings in courtyard areas have been flooded, and 70 settlements remain without transport links. At the same time, more than 72,000 people have been evacuated. The National Army has been deployed on rescue and aid missions across the regions. Over 8,600 people and 1,700 pieces of equipment, 411 water pumps and 65 watercraft, as well as 10 aircraft are involved in rescue operations. Жирма жетнич на урус, не пунк. 
24 жыл. Қызыл жұлдыз ауылы.